$5,000. 2005 Breeders' Crown Final. Three-year-old Colt and Gelding Trot. Here they come. Hoffman trotting smooth muscles, trying to leave on the far outside along with Farmer Jones. There goes Vivid Photo with speed. Roger Hammer gunning out here. Strong Yankee also trying to leave out of there quickly with the muscle memory on the rail out sharply, protecting that rail position into third around the first turn. Vivid Photo early pressure from smooth muscles on the outside, trying to clear here. Muscle memory is third as they head to the opening quarter. And uh, sliding in, Strong Yankee under a strong hold. Muscles extraordinaire, fourth off stride goes smooth muscles. Now under is Farmer Jones, fifth on the outside. Quick move from Strong Yankee out of third here up to challenge Vivid Photo. Clear away is six down the back stretch, uh, followed by Self Professed on the rail. And then it's Sir Perseverance near the back with Northern Ensign getting underway on the Gallop Smooth Muscles. 27 and 4 fifths. And down the back stretch is Strong Yankee who cleared Vivid Photo and parked out and applying immediate pressure is Farmer Jones and he won't clear. It is Muscle Memory fourth past the half mile. Muscles Extraordinaire fifth on the inside. Inching up closer is Self Professed in sixth. Tracking him is Sir Perseverance. Then it's Clearway jammed up near the back. Northern Ensign will look to rally. He is fourth over at this point. And far back Smooth Muscles. Strong Yankee took them past the half in 56 and 1. It's a Strong Yankee under pressure as they approach three quarters with Farmer Jones pressing him now backing up first over and uh, stalking now from the second spot is Vivid Photo he'll look to squeeze out there as they turn for home here comes Vivid Photo squaring off with Strong Yankee as they turn for home and uh, three quarters 125 and three into the stretch here it's Strong Yankee and Vivid Photo so the stage is set for a classic duel here in the crowd and then it's back to self-professed third followed by Sir Perseverance Strong Yankee Vivid Photo Pouring it on, giving all. Strong Yankee can handle, but Strong Yankee is up to it. Strong Yankee is too strong again. Strong Yankee hits a home run in the crowd for Sears. Vivid Photo was second. Sir Perseverance was third. And then came Self Professed, 153 and 4. Brian Sears makes it back to back wins in this division. He won it last year with long shot Yankee. Slide the half brother to Strong Yankee. A different horse in the second half of the season. He won the Kentucky Futurity in a race off against Vivid Photo, the fastest trotter of 2005 with a mark of 150 and 3. That's five straight victories, eight wins in 18 starts this season for Strong Yankee. That's the second Breeders' Crown victory of the season for driver Brian Sears, who won one earlier this season with the Top older pacer, Boulder Creek. Brian Sears looking to eclipse the all-time record for single season's earnings of $15 million. Won a record tying four Breeders' Crowns last year. The heavyweight trotting division is in. We're joined by Lou Damiano, Tron Smets Hammer, and Strong Yankee has done it. Tron, this horse is feeling awful good. We couldn't even keep him here in the winter circle. I uh, always, always get a little ranked uh, after the races, so it's always uh, you got to try to do the winter circle as quick as possible. Tell us a little bit about the second half season here. He's been the now trotter. He's been on fire the last couple months. Yeah, he's a big horse. You know, it took him a while to get ready, and uh, we changed a couple of things after Hambo, and uh, he just gotten better, better. You confident top of the stretch? Vivid photo comes out of the two hole, coming after you. What were you thinking there? Well, you know, with uh, him on the, uh, our back, I wasn't conf uh, confident until late stretch. But uh, you know, he's he raced good. He looked awfully strong around the last turn, and uh, you know, he he got the job done. Is this extra special for you, knowing that last year you had the Triple Crown winner, Winslow's legacy, but you passed on the Breeders' Crown? No, I never really crossed my mind. And tell us a little bit about the possibility of Strong Yankee. Is this his last race, or we see see him next year? I'm going to ask Lou that too. I, nothing has uh, been decided, but I, uh, I think we're going to uh, try to race him next year. Okay, congrats, Tron Smets Hammer, regular in the winner's circle. Lou, what, what's the story? Uh, Strong Yankee is super trotter here. He's a past a million dollars for the year. A lot of people want to see these horses racing at four or five years old. What about that? Well, I think you'll see this horse race. Uh, we had a discussion with Tron, the, the owners, and he feels we can uh, rewrite the trotting record book, and that's what we're going to do, I hope. Like he did on the uh, Kentucky Futurity with that tremendous three heats? 
Yeah, that was a that was a sensational performance. Uh, I just wish that we were standing here in August, the first week, and talking to you. But maybe next year for the Breeders' Crown. Okay, you've been around a lot of great trotters. How uh, high on the list is Strong Yankee? Well, I don't know. He ranks right up there with self-possessed, as far as I was concerned. Okay, Lou Damiano, all the connections. Strong Yankee's done it in the Breeders' Crown for three-year-old Colton Gelling Trotter.